Hey there, Diana from Adirondack Girl Art. I teach vintage and antique lovers how to create successful antique businesses that they love. One of the ways I do that is through these videos, and another way is through my website, adirondackgirlatheart.com. Today, I'm welcoming you to part two of my huge vintage and antique haul from our trip to Pittsburgh earlier in the year. I came home with six really large boxes of um, merchandise and I thought I would do three videos, but it took me about 20 minutes to get through the first box. So I think it's gonna be six, <laughs> six videos. So I have the box right here beside me and I'm just gonna start taking things out and talking about them. How does that sound? Here is a set of Pyrex. This is would have been used in a restaurant, so it's restaurant wear Pyrex. The pattern is called um, Bradford House. It's written right there, sort of a colonial sign there, and it does have the Pyrex mark on the bottom. So unfortunately, there's four bowls, three plates. I'm gonna sell the three bowls for um, $25 to $30 from my antique booth, and then separately um, price these at $5 each. So that's like $40, and um, it was $2.99 at a, um, looks like it was at a Salvation <laughs> Army. Um, so that was a really nice buy. Two more pieces of Pyrex that you're gonna recognize are these uh, butter print or sometimes called Amish uh, midgets. I think that's what people call them, midgets, minis. In any event, it was 25 cents for the pair of them. They are in super good shape. Um, they stayed out of the dishwasher. They do have the Pyrex, of course, mark on the bottom. And as a pair, they should sell for about $20. Um, maybe 25. So on this trip, I ended up developing somewhat of a, what we call accidental um, collection. So here for $1, I picked up a mustache mug. So this allowed men to like sort of hold their mustache back while they took a little sip. This piece is likely uh, just American um, pottery. It's, it's kind of got a porcelain feel to it. I've never sold a mustache, mu, mu, mustache mug before. So I don't know what they go for. I'm hoping like eight or $10. And so now that I have a mini collection, of course, I'm gonna have to write about them on my website. Here's another one. Uh, your father's mustache, it's $1.50. This one is marked on the bottom. It says bunting wear. Never ever heard of that. Again, eight to $10, I hope. And then here's an older one. Um, I would call this, it's almost ironstony in weight. And um, it's got this pink luster paint and then the little luster flowers. It's not marked on the bottom. Let me take the price tag off. No, it was also $1.50. And look, look, this is so weird. So is it, a, is it not a mustache? I feel like maybe it's for tea. Oh, yeah. So you put your tea bag over here to let it like keep dripping into your tea. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. I know somebody knows. So that's my <laughs> uh, mini collection. So I've been on the hunt for some nice cocktail glasses for us. Um, these were half price, so they were 50 cents each. I, I got five of them. I, they have an old look, right? Sort of a topaz color, but I'm not convinced that they're old. In any event, like I said, I bought them for our household. And, um, but if I was gonna sell them, I'd probably sell them in a set of four, not five, and price them at about $20. I always pick up a good darner when I come across them. I've been selling collections of sewing notions for quite a, a while now, and so it's always nice to have a darner in the, in the collection. And then I do 
pick up almost every owl that I come across, salt and pepper shakers, statues, figurines like this one. So it's it's got a bisque feel to it. And um, as you probably saw, it was a dollar. I would price that about 12 to $15. I'm gonna grab a couple more things while I'm down here. This is a um, nice little English creamer. It's by Mayotte. Um, there's the mark. And I have had a number of these. These must have been really popular at one time. Um, I don't know if the, uh, oh, the pattern is called Melody. Did you see that? That's right at the top, Melody. And it just sell for about $10. And I paid a dollar for it. I always pick up little Instamatics like this because people do still like to decorate with them. This one was a dollar and um, it should sell for about 10, eight to $10. Can't go too crazy with them, but they do sell quickly. Here is a nice English tin, I'm sorry, yes, English, $2, really sweet image there and then uh, nice decoration on the side. I think it held, probably held um, candy. The company is Benson's. So if you know anything about that, I paid $2 for it and I will price it at 10 to 12. Here is an interesting find. I like to pick up unusual things or things that I don't necessarily, I like to pick up interesting things or things that I don't necessarily know a lot about. Um, this is not super old. It's got, it's got a Velcro latch there. You can slide this onto a belt, I'm presuming. It's got a little pocket there and this is what was inside. It's empty, nothing in there. No sign of what that would have been. Uh, I have no idea. I don't even want to hazard a guess. But uh, it was a dollar. It's got this 1915 Thompson Co. ink on the cover there. This is vinyl, not leather. So I um, have no idea. I'm going to have to do a little research on that unless someone uh, can tell me in the content, in the comments below. picked up a couple of books. Um, this one is uh, picked up a couple of books. Here is uh, the Royal Horticultural Society Treasury of Garden Verse. And it was published in England and it has these really beautiful images and poetry and would make a great gift. Um, I don't see the original. Oh, it's originally $20. I will price it at 10, 10 or 12. I picked up a Bible. It's got an, a leather cover, not in perfect shape. I will probably use some of my wood salve on it to bring out the color to um, cover up some of the, the dryness um, that you see and to prevent it from drying out more. Look at this beautiful end papers in there. And it dates to, it dates to 1911. And it has, this is um, in the very front of the book, this nice engraving. Unfortunately, that's the only engraving, I think, in the whole Bible. But then there are some images like this one throughout sort of modern day images that relate to Bible topics. So um, I will probably price it at about $18 to $25. These books cost a dollar each. While we're talking about leather, I have to show you this really cool uh, little mini saddle. Um, I don't know what you would use that for other than decoration, right? Um, but it is leather and it cost $5.49. And um, I think it must be worth like $35 or $40 or $50, right? Maybe on eBay or Etsy with that piece. 
this is kind of a weird um, something to pick up. It's resin, so it's not super old, but it has a great old look. Um, it's, you know, wearing a little bit here. And um, she cost $2.85 at one of my favorite thrift stores and in the New York part of the trip. So I would price her about $25 to $30. Now, I, I talk a lot about not buying China and how I think it's not a great idea, but this was a dollar and it's a piece of Limoges. And I have an article coming up about Limoges. About, I have a whole article first that I'm planning on all kinds of ceramics and pottery, um, but then I'm gonna like spring off of that with some more specific articles. I just think that's gorgeous. It's got some gold gilt paint here around the edge. It's in perfect shape. And it should, uh, it would sell for probably about $10 from my booth. It would probably take a while. I have sold pieces of Limoges pretty easily on eBay of all places. <laughs> and it might sell for $15 there, 15 or 20. Uh, but I will probably put it in my booth. And I picked up this little milk glass cigarette holder. Great though for toothpicks nowadays or little plants. Cute with a daisy and button pattern. There's no, um, no signature anywhere. It was a dollar and these sell uh, regularly for me for about $10. Here's another weird find. <laughs> It's kind of like Christmas morning opening up these boxes because it was a few months ago and so I don't remember <laughs> what I bought. Everything's a little a surprise. Okay, so I have no idea what these things are. They must have rested in something. I have about 10 of them, maybe eight of them. They have numbers on them like that. And um, I feel like there's something for something in the kitchen, right? But they also look like Christmas trees. <laughs> so there might be a new craft there. I think I paid a dollar for all of them. So uh, no great loss. And then here is a cute little China toothpick, $2. I have an article on my website all about toothpicks and um, they sell very well from my antique booth for 10 to $12. This one tended to $12. Now the last few finds that I have are some jewelry. I don't buy a lot of jewelry because I've mentioned before that um, we bought a huge collection from a very good friend several years ago. So I have mounds of jewelry but when I come across sterling silver pieces at thrift stores and estate sales I will pick them up if they're uh, reasonably priced. So here's a sterling silver ring with a garnet or a garnet colored um, stone. Very pretty. And uh, it was $1.53. It's marked sterling inside on the band and it's worth about $25. And then at the same thrift store, I picked up this little sterling bow ring. It's like a, a child's ring or a pinky ring. It was a uh, nine, and it's marked sterling and it should get me <laughs> about 12 or $15. And then um, I fell in love with that pin. That's some dried flowers there under glass. And I feel like um, this uh, frame is sterling, although I couldn't find a sterling mark. It's really unusual, really pretty. I will probably put it on Etsy for $35. And I picked up this, whatchamacallit? Just a decoration, but I'm gonna take it apart and put this on a key ring and put the, the top on a key ring and I sell those for $10 at the Shaker Heritage um, Society gift shop. And then the final little piece of jewelry is this little dainty circle pin with, it's sterling with turquoise. It's definitely an antique piece. The pin, the clasp is a little bit messed up there, but 
um, it was 50 cents. And so it had to be purchased. <laughs> Worth about probably 10 to $12 because of that mess, uh, messed up clasp on the back. So that's it for part two of my um, extraordinary, extraordinary haul from uh, our trip to Pittsburgh. So we hit thrift stores, antique uh, malls, and flea markets from Albany, New York, all the way to Pittsburgh and had so much fun. So thanks for joining me today. And as always, happy hunting. Thank you.